Hi everyone, and welcome back to Ben Builds. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a latching circuit, which will be capable of turning any push button switch into a toggle switch, basically allowing you to take a very small switch, control very large things, and keep them on indefinitely until the switch is pushed again. Let's get started. <laughs> Just so that you have a better idea of the practical implementations of this circuit, um, this is a box that I designed right here to control my new garage LED lighting system, which I'm going to be showcasing and talking about in two future upcoming videos. So inside this box right here, I've got the latching circuit, and it allows me to take this switch, which you push once to turn off, push again to turn on, and it allows me to take that circuit, use this switch, to control live AC mains in conjunction with the relay. So those are, that's just one of the practical implementations. I'm sure you guys can come up with a ton more. I'm gonna be showing you the first circuit I made, which is a mono-stable multivibrator, which is not really the proper circuit, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway so that you don't make the same mistakes as I did. Let's go. Okay, so the first step here is to assemble all of the parts that we need for our transistor flip-flop. We're gonna need two, NPN transistors, 200 microfarad capacitors, one momentary tact switch, two LEDs, and a bunch of resistors. So this is what I currently have. Um, I've got about three quarters of the circuit built right here. The two transistors, the two capacitors are built, and here are the two LEDs and the switch. Um, so for this test prototype, I'm going to be turning LEDs on and off, and then once I'm ready to actuate a relay, I'll just replace one of the LEDs with another transistor, and then sync current through the relay coil in order to activate it. So in the last circuit that I built, which is this one right here, which you saw me building earlier, I ended up accidentally building a monostable multivibrator, um, which is not really the kind of latching circuit that I'm looking for. As you can see here, it sort of pulses and switches um, between states on and off with two different uh, LEDs here. So what I'm looking for is more of a circuit like this one right here. And this is a latching circuit that latches a relay um, on and off every single time these two orange wires are touched together. Let me demonstrate. All right, so after playing with different FET and transistor types, this is what I came up with. This circuit right here will latch the relay on and latch it off for every single pulse of the um, fake switch right here. So these orange wires represent the switch. And when I connect the switch together, it's gonna latch the relay on. And when I connect them again, it's gonna latch the relay off. So I'm connecting them now. And see it's latched on, and again, off. All right, so now it's time to move the circuit from breadboard to some perf board. So this right here is what the circuit looks like when it's been put mostly on a perf board. I'd say in this picture, there's about 75 to 80% of the circuit already on the perf board. Please keep in mind that this video was not designed to be a tutorial for how to breadboard circuits or how to put them on a perf board. I will, however, post a link in the description to a video on where you can see how to breadboard circuits and how to transfer them to a perf board. So just follow along and build exactly what the schematic says, first on the breadboard, then after testing it on the perf board. And after that, you'll be able to integrate it into any project that you want. Also, stay tuned for next week's video when I'm going to be showing you how I implemented the circuit into a fantastic shop LED lighting system. It's going to be a great video and it's coming out next week. Thanks so much for watching everyone and thank you also for supporting Ben Builds. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to click the subscribe button and check out some of my other videos.